Hey, my name is Ben Nichols, and today I'm here to talk to you about 10 things to help you deal with performance anxiety or stage fright. Step one, exercise right before you practice. This may sound silly, but doing some jumping jacks, running a lap, uh, doing an exercise bike for a short amount of time before you practice can simulate what it feels like to experience adrenaline and sometimes stage fright. To get your heart racing can be helpful to know what that's going to feel like beforehand. Step two, imagine your mentors or people that will be auditioning you in the room with you. When I was younger, I used to imagine two people that would always audition all state band in the room. It sounds kind of funny, but the mind is a powerful thing. So if you take a moment when you sit down to practice, close your eyes and imagine that these people are there with you, what they look like, just a few seconds to imagine all, every detail, and then start your practice session. I felt like it helped me when I was actually performing for these people to feel less nervous. Step three, practice in different places. If you practice in the same safe place, the practice room or your bedroom all the time, it'll feel odd to go somewhere else and perform. So play outside, go to the park. Uh, the brain associates different information that you're working on in different ways depending on what your circumstances are like in that moment. So it will actually help your brain develop and remember information in different ways if you practice in different places and not always in just the same place. Number four, go busk in public, meaning go take your instrument, go out on a street corner, go in front of a coffee shop, somewhere where people are walking by and practice or practice your performance there. Many people will just be walking by and not paying any attention. This can be a great experience for performing. Number five, perform for friends and family. Uh, it's a great opportunity to perform for people that care about you, that aren't going to judge you. See if you can perform for them. Uh, find someone else who's working on this and see if you can swap every day performing just for each other. Uh, having a chance to show what you've been working on that day. Number six, realize that people want you to do well. When people are going to a concert or sitting in the audience, they want to hear the performer do their very best. No one is sitting there hoping that the performer messes up or that they do poorly. It's not enjoyable to listen to that. So people are cheering for you. Even people you don't know want you to do well. And I think realizing that can be helpful in those situations. Seven, remember that your responsibility as a musician is spiritual. It's to bring some beauty into this world. It's to inspire and uplift the people that you're, that you're performing for so that they can have a little bit more strength and maybe be a little bit more prepared to face the struggles and trials of life. And so as a musician, um, thinking about oneself fixating on if I'm going to mess up what people are thinking about me is the wrong way to think. To be thinking about what can I share, what joy can I give to people through this music is something that can help eliminate performance anxiety as well as help you do your best in those situations. Number eight, record yourself. Not just full performances, but small chunks. This helps to be able to know what you need to work on and change to get instant feedback. Oh, I'm playing a little bit flat. Oh, I'm scooping too much. Whatever it be can help build confidence and uh, can help you improve much faster than if you weren't doing so. 
Number nine, read the inner game of tennis and other motivational philosophical books. I had this book recommended to me by Jeff Coffin, and it talks about how the conscious mind can get in the way when we're performing. After we've practiced and done our best to prepare for something, it's helpful to let the subconscious mind take over and do what it knows how to do best. Sonny Rollins said, the less I think, the better I play. And so we can kind of get in the way if we're doing extreme thinking on the stage. If we've prepared and done our part, we can kind of relax and attempt to find this state of relaxed concentration. Number 10, practice, practice, practice. Slow reps, build muscle memory and confidence. Thanks so much for watching. This is in no way comprehensive, but these are 10 things that have helped me overcome stage fright and performance anxiety, and I hope it's helpful to you. Please drop a comment below and let me know what has been helpful for you in overcoming these things. If this video is helpful to you, please like and subscribe below.